Japan is the developed country till date and it is having the you know highest uh, economy after the United States till date. But as we all know in 1945 during the Second World War, the Hiroshima and the Nagasaki, uh, these are the two major cities in Japan were totally destroyed by uh, the United States. So after 1945, later in 1991, the Japan becomes you know the second largest economy in the world after United States. So how did Japan achieves all of that? Like after uh, in the 1945, there was no like enough resources for Japan to make this kind of the technological advancement. So guys, what kind of the tools did Japan use and what kind of the strategy Japan uses in uh, to like to become, you know, from a uh, underdeveloped country to, uh, to the developed country. So hey guys, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. And in this video, we are going to talk about, you know, a strategy which is used, which is originated in Japan to and right now, you know, in India's most of the companies, they are using this particular strategy, which is known as a Kaizen. So guys, in our today's video, we are going to talk about the Kaizen and how can we implement Kaizen in our organization. So guys, watch my video till the end and guys, uh, please uh, hit like, do comment and guys, don't forget to share all my videos to the social networks. So that is the that is the common line I I every time I say that but that's you know that's basically important for me. So also guys please subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy and motivate me to make more of such educational stuffs. So without wasting any time let's begin our today's topic that is Kaizen. So as I have told you earlier, that is the Kaizen is the Japanese Japanese strategy which is originated in Japan and it is like firstly it is used in a Toyota manufacturing system. It is it is used in a uh, like in a automation of Toyota manufacturing system. So this particular Kaizen is consist of the two words that is the Kai and Zen. So Kai is nothing but the change and Zen is nothing but good. So change for good can be considered as a kaizen so it can be also called as a continuous improvement we all know like uh, improvement does occurs but like there has to be continuity in that improvement like uh, suppose like uh, i i have done certain improvement in my house i have done certain improvements in my organization also but it has to be a uh, continuous in order to achieve a uh, a particular goal or in order to achieve that particular goal on a high level so basically kaizen is nothing but the continuous improvement so as we all know there is always a scope in what we are doing right now i do make youtube videos there is a scope like of improvement in my youtube videos as you can check my previous videos also so there is you know i also have implemented kaizen in my life in my YouTube career also. So Kaizen is nothing but the continuous improvement and there always a scope of improvement in in anything that we do. Also it uh, we can implement this Kaizen in, in a particular process, in a particular product, in a particular method, also in a particular organization or in a personal life. We can carry out this particular Kaizen process. So what actually is the Kaizen? So basically Kaizen focuses on the problems how can we solve the problems how can we provide a better solutions in order to increase the productivity in order to increase the you know the production rate so kaizen basically uh, focuses on the problems so suppose like uh, let me give you an example over here you can see in this particular image the this is like uh, this is uh, like a machine part so it states the before and the after so they here are the two images which uh, gives you the before kaizen and after kaizen so over here in before kaizen we there is a belt drive inside a uh, inside a machine basically and we have to inspect that belt drive we have to measure that the speed of the belt drive 
So we cannot, every time we need to open that particular cover, every time I, we need to inspect it for the slip and for the, like the speed also, we have to connect the tachometer also in that case. But in the later stage, in the after pick, you can see over here, like there is a, you know, a slot or an opening which is provided to, we can directly carry out the inspection while the machine is continuously running. At the running stage, we can carry out the inspection for the sleep also and we can uh, measure the RPM with the help of the tachometer also. So this is, you know, this is uh, like a simple example of a Kaizen. So basically Kaizen focuses on the problems. We have to provide n number of the solutions to the problem and we have to check which is the best possible solution for this particular problem. We can also, uh, we can also see over here in this image over here, this is the drum, inside that drum, you know, the, everything is like uh, placed uh, like anything and in the second image, you can see over here, this is like, uh, like a sorting is carried out. So that is the 5S is the implemented over here. We can see in the next video, what is 5S, that I'll, I'll make another video on 5S also. So we can see over here in the another, we can see over here in a store, there are the sortings this is done, this is the color codes which are provided. So that is the basic examples of the Kaizen. So Kaizen basically focuses on the problems and to provide a better number of the solutions. So after providing the best possible solution, we have to, you know, we have to standardize that particular process. We have to standardize it and we have to repeat that particular process whenever there is a problem. So that is the standardization is nothing but the Kaizen. So that's how uh, like a, a Kaizen can be implemented in any organization or uh, to improve in any, in any organization to improve the productivity. How can we implement a Kaizen in an organization or in an assembly line or in a store department? We can implement Kaizen in any department, but how can, what is, what is the implemental strategy? What is the strategy to implement the Kaizen in an organization? So first of all, what you want to improve, we have to get into that. We have to like involve in the production, we have to involve in the quality, we have to involve in the sales to improve that. We have to basically involve in the problems. We have to involve in a department and find out the problems. What are the problems the particular person is facing right now? So we have to involve it first of all, then we have to find the problems. Then we have to generate the possible number of the solution on that particular problem we have to check out which is the best possible solution on that problem and then we have to implement that solution on the problem after implementing again we have to check whether that solution we have implemented is correct or not and then again after checking we have to standardize it process the particular process and then we have to repeat the whole cycle to implement Kaizen. So guys, this is how the Kaizen gets implemented in any and these are, you know, these are the, you know, very important steps to in, uh, implement the Kaizen process. Most of the manufacturing industries supports Kaizen and they want their, you know, they, they want their employees from like uh, from an worker up to the high level. Most of the companies implement Kaizen from the lower level on the high level, on the top level management from a worker to the top level management, they implement the Kaizen and they, you know, they motivate the people to implement the Kaizen in their respective departments. Suppose you are in the sales or you are in the manufacturing, you are in the production, you are in purchase, you are in quality. You can, you can implement Kaizen anywhere in any department and most of the industry supports, support the employees to, to implement the Kaizen by giving them like the movie tickets, by giving them, you know, the coupons, vouchers by giving them the motivation in terms by giving them you know the like the rewards so that's how you know the, that's how the most of the industry is like uh, they want to implement this particular process kaizen in order to improve in order to maximize their production rate in order to maximize the profit so ultimately <clears throat> the kaizen is nothing but the continuous improvement so guys, I hope you understand the process of Kaizen. In my next videos, I'll, I'll explain you the, you know, the applications of the Kaizen such as, you know, the DMAC is there, such as 5S is there, such as Six Sigma, Lean Manufacturing, 
we can uh, we'll check all of this you know the topics in the later stage but i hope you understand the basic principle of kaizen so guys thank you for watching my video guys please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy thank you so much for watching this guys